it was very clear to me from the first time that I saw Walker Little that we had a five-star caliber player on our hands. Now here we are at the end of his senior season, and he commits on Friday to the school that was always probably the leader in his recruitment with Stanford. When I talked to him this week ahead of his announcement, he's, he was saying that he's more used to the Southern lifestyle and heading out to California will be a switch for him, but I think as far as his specific fit with that program, that's a solid match for both player and team. And Little, you have a guy that despite his mild-mannered appearance, is a guy that likes to get after defenders in the run game and just toss his guys around in pass protection at the high school level. And despite his pleasant demeanor off the field, he's just a hard worker and a down-to-business blocker on the field. When we see him square up with a defensive end, he keeps his feet loose so he can dig in and load up when he's ready to punch, which is something that he does very well and uses to his advantage as he's really good at redirecting pass rushers. This spring was the first time that I got to see him go head-to-head -head against Marvin Wilson, who at the time was the number one player in the country, and he even got the better of that matchup. So for a guy that likes to play a hard-nosed style of football, I think that he's going to fit right in on that Stanford offensive line that has helped Christian McCaffrey achieve a high level of success running the ball, as well as a guy like Kevin Hogan most recently be a successful passer in a conference that likes to put up a lot of yards and points in the Pac-12. I know that he favored playing in a more traditional pro-style offense, and he's more than capable of sustaining blocks on the level that you need him to do that versus more of the quick hitter type stuff that you see in many spread and up-tempo style offenses. Of course, he's a big guy as one of the top tackle prospects in the country, but he's built well. There's not much wasted mass on him, and I think that's great for his prospects of getting onto the field as quickly as possible. He's got more of the build that you'd expect to see from an elite left tackle, but plays with the strength and ferocity you're used to seeing in a right tackle. Stanford beat out Texas, who made a strong push for a little there at the end with new head coach Tom Herman, as well as maybe Ole Miss, who people were on the lookout for because he has a couple of siblings out there. But in the end, he stuck with the team that had been one of his leaders in his recruitment for a long time and a staff that he really connected with. And that gives Stanford its second five-star commitment in 2017.